Hey guys, in today's video, we'll be talking about the 5G core network architecture. In 5G core network, there are way too many nodes and it's really easy to get confused. So what I'm going to do is that I'll go through the key network components in the 5G core networks one by one and hopefully you will be able to understand exactly what these things do. Generally, the key nodes representing the 5G core network in most documentation are AMF and UPF. AMF is the access and mobility management function and UPF is a user plane function. It is important to make a distinction between uh, the two planes that are used in 5G uh, that will make it easier for you to visualize the network architecture a bit better. So the network architecture can be seen on at least two levels, the user plane and the control plane. The control plane carries control functions such as signaling traffic and the user plane carries user data, for example, the content of the YouTube video you may be watching on your phone. So if you now focus on the green boxes and components on this screen uh, that represent the core network, you may note that a mobile phone is connected to the base station GNB linked to AMF and UPF. So AMF and UPF are part of the core network, whereas GNB is the radio network. So let's go through these uh, components one by one. So UPF is a user plane function, which as the name suggests, is part of the user plane and connects a mobile phone via G node B to outside networks like the internet. UPF is connected to the session management function, SMF, which is another box here in the picture. Uh, and SMF is part of the control plan. So it's different, right? It's in control plan. UPF oversees service quality and applies policies that the PCF or policy control function sends via SMF. So you can have more than one UPF and for low latency communication, local UPF can be used to avoid transmission delays due to long distances. Let's now talk about SMF or session management function. SMF establishes and manages the sessions between a user device and the mobile network. It takes care of the management of IP addresses for the devices. It is also responsible for selecting UPF for the user device and controlling the UPF. Finally, SMF is also an interface between the UPF and the policy control function PCF where policies and business rules reside. AMF or Access and Mobility Management function is part of the control plan. It is connected to the G node B and it provides access and authentication. Network Slice Selection function NSSF determines which AMF or AMFs can serve a particular UE based on the service type the UE is trying to access. UE means uh, the phone basically and it stands for user equipment. So NSSF is the node that enables network slicing. AUSF or authentication server function is a new security function, security network function introduced in the 5G core network to manage the authentication of device or UE. So again, UE means the phone. NEF or network exposure function exposes the 5G core network capabilities to third-party apps, developers and companies. It opens up network services, for example, voice calls, data connection, etc. to third-party applications in a highly secure and robust way through APIs and SDKs. That way, third-party companies can use mobile services, for example, voice calls, etc., in their apps, allowing mobile operators to extend their footprint. NRF stands for Network Repository Function, and it is essentially the boss of all network functions. Network functions are these green boxes you see on the slide. NRF controls network functions and allows them to discover each other for various mobile services, register and deregister, etc. UDR or Unified Data Repository is a database where all the subscriptions, applications and other data reside. UDR is a centralized data source 
that works with UDM or Unified Data Management. UDM handles credentials and identity. And finally, the last node we're going to talk about is AF. AF stands for Application Function, and it works with other network functions to deal with various service types such as voice calls, SMS and video streaming, etc. The applications or apps that use these services have specific needs in terms of quality of service, QoS, policy, charging, etc. So in the mobile network, application functions exist for these different service types. AF can also influence the routing of the traffic for a specific service to, for example, ensure good quality of service. In addition, AF works with NEF for third-party apps that are trying to access the mobile network services of a mobile operator. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I've written a detailed post on this topic, and the link is in the description. And make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos all the time.